major event happening in Bala this weekend, Shake the Lake. And joining me now to talk about it is Stu Manchi. Stu, welcome to the program. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Scott. Tell me about this concert that's coming up this weekend, this festival really in Bala. Yeah, so Shake the Lake Bala uh, was started by myself and Ian and Warren Mayhew, uh, two brothers. We're all longtime Bala uh, residents, summer residents. And um, a good friend of ours, uh, Ryan Bush, who is the owner of Bush's Water Sports Park, um, last year was diagnosed with uh, brain cancer. And so the three of us have a long history of event planning and concert uh, promotion and uh, have worked in venues and, and owned venues, et cetera, et cetera. So we decided to band together and uh, create a, uh, an awareness festival last year. We did five days. This year we've cut it down to three. Uh, we had a, a, you know, a bit of a burnout with the end of five days for our staff. So I think three days is the magic number. And um, yeah, so we're in our second year and it's uh, bigger and better this year. We have about 25 bands over the course of three days and lots of activities, food, drink. Um, it's on a private beach on the lake, uh, on, at Bush's Water Sports Park, there's a private lake, and uh, it's fun for all ages. Let's talk about some of the bands we're gonna see this weekend. Yeah, so what we've done is actually curated each night to be a separate sort of uh, experience musically. Um, Friday night is Hawksley Workman and the Practically Hip as our headliners, co-headlining the show. Uh, and then we have a number of great opening acts, uh, Jeff Young uh, and Muskoka Rhodes, who is a full piano and, and a great entertainer, uh, Alonzo and the great Grand Union Band, who are coming from Vancouver, uh, Corey James Mitchell, who actually just opened for Kim Mitchell at the Key last weekend, and he's coming back for two Bala weekends in a row. Uh, so Friday will be kind of a classic rock evening, sort of, you know, Hawksley and the hip. Uh, and Saturday is very exciting. We have two nine and ten piece funk bands with uh, the Sheepdog side project called Bros, which is actually the members of the Sheepdogs with a ten piece or nine piece. And then uh, we've got Dwayne Gretzky, who are uh, Canada's premier cover band, um, doing all the hits to close out the evening. And a slew of amazing acts uh, opening the day on Saturday, including Birds of Bellwoods, uh, Cat Clyde, who is a, an absolute favorite amongst. Uh, our team and uh, Connor Gaines, et cetera, et cetera. So Saturday is sort of funky dance party all day. And uh, Sunday is, uh, we're calling it the Sunday Scaries. Uh, it's basically the active rock, uh, monster truck, the lazies, creep show, stuck on planet earth, and uh, a couple of other great bands, Born Ride, et cetera. So Sunday is active uh, mainstream rock, pretty much all day Sunday. Sounds yeah, like a great so, lineup, and, and I don't know, Stu, if you've taken in some festivals this summer, but there is such excitement that live music is back, people are out doing these festivals again. Um, everything from the crowds to, to the musicians themselves, you can tell there's something really special happening this summer. Absolutely. We are trying to ride that wave uh, and, and really capitalize on that energy that people are... You know, I, I think part of what we do in terms of uh you know putting together an event like this it is a lot of work but what makes it worth it for us is just seeing people come together again and having you know the community behind us and have uh you know all of the great local businesses and and local um vendors and 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 just really people within the community all embrace uh coming together and and enjoying what what better medicine is it than enjoying a live concert outdoors you know under the sun and the stars uh, we, we can't think of a better, a better way to sort of heal. I, I couldn't agree more, Stu. So, so let's get down to the details. How can people uh, get tickets? How can people uh, make their way to Bala this weekend? Okay, so uh, the best way to find out everything about the festival is actually to follow us on Instagram, and it's at ShakeTheLakeBala. Our website is ShakeTheLakeBala.com. Tickets are available directly on the website. Uh, they will also be available at the door, at the gate, uh, in limited numbers, but uh, we will have a block of tickets available all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and you can decide if you want to get a weekend pass and drop in and out, or if you want to just buy individual day passes. Um, Shakethelakevala.com or uh, follow us on Instagram is probably the two best ways to figure out uh, all that you need to know. Thanks for doing this, Stu. It sounds like you've got a great lineup. Just one question, who are you most looking forward to seeing? 
Oh, that's a tough one. I have to say, I'm Dwayne Gretzky is always a fan. I'm I'm a big fan, but I really want to see uh, the Bros, which is uh, the Sheepdog side project uh, with their nine piece. They've got quite the uh, quite the setup. And I have to say, Cat Clyde, uh, she is incredible. And if you haven't heard of either of those, I suggest going on Spotify and checking out both of those artists for sure. All good choices. But hey, all listen, of them. Stu- I, I, pol- politically, I have to say all of them. All, all of them, of, them, of all course. Of the but you know, you can have yeah. some favorites there. Yeah.